Crete. Yasu. Yasu, Scott. Yasu. Yasu. Another frustrating day, day from Journal 14, right? Yes. J227. What do we have? We've got Greek or allied Greek slash British versus uh, Germans. And I had choice, right? Mm -hmm. I had choice and I looked through the scenario card and I saw this here. <laughs> I saw that and I noped the yeah. hell out of that. So I took the Germans. <laughs> ELR two, you're, you're no weak. Way. You're weak. <laughs> am Can't I weak? Handle, uh... Am I weak or am I smart? <laughs> yeah, probably weak. Probably smart. Uh, yeah. yeah, I see ELR two and I just go, oh, 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 I, I can't do it. No. Yeah, it's, it's brutal. Yeah. So, what do we have? We have a uh, kind of one and a half board up here on the top. Here is uh, the Mediterranean and Crete, shore of Crete on the other side. And we have uh, the Germans attacking and trying to secure probably some, maybe a wharf area in the in the town. And uh, you've got, you kind of got a mix of stuff. Uh, yeah, regular side. regular Greek army and then Greek partisans. I think it's supposed to be like townspeople or something. Yeah, the yeah. partisans. And these guys here too. Yeah. And then the uh, British. Yeah, you have some nice elite British coming in later. Uh, generally, the Not British, enough. yeah, generally the British units are are pretty good quality. On the other hand, me as a Germans, I've got Ooh, group God. group Becker and group Egger, and they're all elite with ELR yes. four and a nine minus two leader. Ooh, Oof. foreshadowing, Ooh. foreshadowing there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, I took the Germans for obvious reasons and uh, gave you the uh, the mixed uh, Greek-British units. Special rules, not a whole lot. Um, there was a orchard overlay, building, one building is stone. Everything is ground level. Um, you have some partisans, and you have some random partisan generation that can kind of pop up randomly the first four turns, which... which worked once which could you. be yeah 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 it could be interesting if you got enough of them it could make it could make it interesting but yeah as we'll see it made it interesting for one turn we'll see yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> uh and then uh, yeah the germans when the germans are attacking in close combat or ambush uh they can declare hand to hand and i i'm a wuss and in this case i don't I thought about it once, but I didn't. I didn't declare hand to hand in close combat in, in this. But it's the option for uh, as the German elites here. So yeah, that's yeah. that's it for the scenario. Five and a half turns. Uh, yeah, let's jump into uh, advantages and disadvantages. You get to go first. Uh, concealment. I had uh, ample dummy counters plus. Um... What did we do? I guess it was you set up on board, so we didn't yeah, we're do that. You but, just had uh, you had some dummy concealment. Plus, I think yeah, like you twelve. Could, I think you could start concealed even if you were in my line of sight, if I recall. I think that yeah, might have been the just, SSR. Yeah. Uh, stone buildings. There's plenty of stone buildings. That's always yeah. it's disadvantage. ELR two. Uh, <laughs> uh. Well, and then you start with you start with some you know green, green squads. Mm -hmm. So doesn't yeah, Easy no place disruption. to go, no place to go but down. <laughs> Literally down. <laughs> yeah, uh, th and then uh, three three wins. Yeah, not much, not many. It's a not new too many scenario. Playings, no, no. Uh, so we have no idea if this is balanced or not. Three to two at the time. Who knows? Uh, German advantages kind of went over this already. Uh, they're all elite. Got decent ELR. I think they all have assault fire. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe half of them have assault fire. And I think I had five leaders and a nine minus two. Disadvantages. I looked at it. I, 
I couldn't think of any. I'm like, yeah, this looks pretty sweet for the Germans. <laughs> uh, the only thing, I, the only thing I could think of would time. You know, it's yeah, five and a half turns, not a ton of time, and you do have to cover some ground. You don't really have too much time to to dilly dally. So that's that'd be yeah. about the only. It's an urban slog, kind of. It's a lot of buildings. Yeah. And two wins, so yeah, not sure about balance. Uh, how about your... Not a lot of options on... Um, setup. Or setup. I had to, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was go. constricted to, what was it, two, three hexes, I think? Yeah, I think uh, I'll try to Vertically. I think you had yeah. to set up in that, like that. three hex, yeah. roughly. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not like you could set up anywhere behind you know yeah it was all my plan was just to spread out and which you're for, kind of forced to do uh you can't really and then i sure. did i did i set up i put some i put my dummy stacks more in the center instead of the flanks instead of the edges uh were these dummies i know at least yeah. one of them was yeah I think they both were, but yeah, just spread out, try and uh, then you know get react to what you do. My plan yeah. was to fall back. It's kind of a tough call, you know. Do you stand and fight, or do you just fall back? It's it's never an easy question. But, and then just wait for my British reinforcements. Yeah, just you're British. I, I mean, I knew there's no way there's no way I can stop you. Right? You got you just all these elite German squads. There's no way. I think your but British come just, in like that. Yeah, just try and hopefully slow you down and to oh. where you you run out of time. That's about. Yeah, there's no way. I don't think there's any way to stop these German uh, elites. Here, here are the victory condition buildings. I have to capture f- three of three. those four yeah. buildings up there. So I have to set up uh, the two groups. I think they have to set up within two hexes of, I think it was this hex and, uh, th- was it this hex? Maybe the, maybe you two. So you can see my, my groups are set up basically like this and, and like that. And my plan was, one plan worked out pretty well to begin with, one not so good. Uh, but for this group here, their plan was to go like this. That worked out fairly well. These guys, the plan was essentially to go like this. It kind of worked out, but it was it got delayed. Um, yeah. but that was my basically my plan of attack. I, I mean, there's a lot of open. I got it, you know, that I need to go across. Um, this this was my kill stack. My plan was to set them opportunity fire during my first move, move phase and if you fired any of your guys in their line of sight and unconcealed <laughs> i was going to unload on them unload yeah but as we'll see you had pretty good discipline uh, in that regard <laughs> let's go ahead and start stepping through turn germans go first there you go okay oh yeah Kate, you got your first per- partisan right off the bat you put him in the Hex, I did not want you to put him in because I knew, I suspected that was uh, a dummy, and I was just going to run right into that stone building. And you put him right there, basically body blocking my first move. <laughs> yeah, and I can't remember. That might have been a dummy. But yet they had to, you had to randomly go random direction off the sniper. So that... Yeah, you must have picked. Uh... You picked my German, my sniper counter, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you had the option either yeah. sniper. Uh, here I'm going up the flank. Yeah, concealment loss. Yeah. A lot of firepower up there. So here are your stupid partisans causing me heartburn already. Oh. Just trying to get in close, pin, break. <laughs> like ah, pin. Ah, uh, it's just tough seeing those huge stack Germans coming, and you know, you don't have much to fire back with. So right off the bat, oh, here we go, sniper. Yeah, your favorite part. <laughs> I, I actually like, rolled a one. I actually rolled a one. 
activation. I you roll the one, and then you roll the one, two. Landed right on top of my... Uh, kill stack. My kill stack, which was marked opportunity fire. So their concealment was stripped when I marked them opportunity, getting ready to unload on something. You can see what I have in there. I've got nine minus two, massive firepower. Ready to lay waste. You roll a one, lands right on there. Oh, let's see what I roll for my <laughs> random, for selection. random selection. Let's, let's see what, what happens here. Four. I'm like, okay, I got three more units. Maybe I can avoid the the kill on the leader. What do I roll? One. 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 <laughs> oh, I lost my mind there. I'm like, you're kidding Well, me. the only thing that would have been better would have been if four ones. <laughs> oh, ones. Well, yeah, but then I would have had to roll random selection again, I think. Oh, well. Yeah. The, it worked out quite well for you there. And I was like, yeah. Losing my nine minus two right off the bat, and then they all had to take a, a lead a loss morale check. Two of them broke. Nine minus one toast. I was like, oh wow, from one sniper shot. Well, and I think that was the only sniper activity. It's the only activation I got the whole game. Yeah. Other than that, I ended up wounding one of your leaders later. That was the only other yeah. sniper activity. There was, I mean, there was sniper activity. I never, I can't. I never rolled a one or a two again. So, so I had out. I had this leader. He was over here somewhere, kind of a backup for rally. Because the nine minus two got smoked here, I had to change plans and run him back over to here to try to salvage these guys. So it kind of changed my game plan pretty early, which is uh, tradition in ASO. Yeah. So the bottom is just kind of stuck because that three that three three seven partisan moved as far as I could up on the top. Sniper smoked me. I'm advancing into a wall of firepower. I was really paranoid of even if this was just a three three seven. Yeah. I was still afraid of firing up there and laying residual in one or two axes and generally causing heartache. But I think that was a dummy in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And I mean, <laughs> in, in, in hindsight, it would have bought for a light machine gun and a fire lane or something. But I didn't want to set up too far forward because, you know, in reality, my plan was to fall back. So, yeah, you have to play a delaying action with the Germans. Yeah, and I think you already got my best good leader, the eight minus one. Cause he's they had to. Where am I skull? No, maybe I'm skulking you. Down here? Yeah, I think. No, up top, up top. The eight minus yeah, the eight minus one. You must have just skulked. Yeah, you skulked. He, I do, yeah. I do. Pen, I penalize him for that. I wound him later. The sniper wounds him. Yeah, that's coming up. That was early. Yeah. Yeah, your force on the north side there got put on their heels pretty early. You, you guys yeah. at the bottom hung in tough for a while. Yeah, I was getting pretty nervous about you just bum rush and cross the top. I that's why I ended up moving, trying to sh shift, kind of up to the right there, like on my second turn. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to move forward on the bottom, but still, it's oh here we go. I think I wound your leader here. Yeah. Odd, yeah. Yeah. I got a hero down below. Forget when that happened, but yeah. So I brought the other those other guys down that rallied here. I think I rallied him and brought him down like this. I think you were surprised. I think you thought I was going to bring him up like that. Because this was a longer path, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, right now down at the bottom, towards the bottom there, uh, I kind of had you pickled. I mean, you, you, you had, of course, your morale checks. You ended up with some broken guys. <laughs> of course. And... 
We end up. You eventually, yeah, you had to fall back. Kind of. We end up in close combat there. Yeah, you took some. I think you killed something there, or maybe that's that's coming up. Or you jump some more guys in the close combat. I needed to get moving because your British are going to come on. Uh, I don't know over here somewhere, and I know if I don't. You're going to cut me off if I need to get moving as quickly as I can before I get cut off. So yeah, you had some desperate. bad. You had some. Yeah, you had some bad luck with lower force there, and it was kind of impacting your game. Up top, I advance out in the street, just trying to get in close. No, no train effect minor, but I'm not moving in the open. I'm just sitting there at this point. Yeah, you pull some guys up north, I think, to cover. Oh, disrupted. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought I could, I really thought I could get away with that. You had some uh, hot infantry fire table rolls. And... I did a bunch of final firing up top. I don't think it accomplished anything. Uh, maybe I broke something. I was able to get one squad up there. If I'd gotten both squads up there, that would have been pretty beneficial i got my reinforcements yeah you couldn't double time those guys so yeah they weren't going too far couldn't get far but if you were able to get in position to cut me off adequately yeah which kind of happened it slowed me down yeah it's kind of at this point in the game where i'm thinking like i'm kind of back on my heels and it's like i gotta try fall back and kind of reorganize somehow yeah because this turn it's my turn three i uh, the guys on top have moved a long direction but they haven't really moved a long ways towards a victory condition guys on the bottom no, really haven't moved hardly at all just a little yeah bit. but there's like there's <laughs> like only there's nothing in front of you there's like one squad oh up top yeah victory. yeah so. you got what do you got you got a wounded leader a partisan disrupted which i just ran into the hex and took them and this guy here that was it yeah and i had like what five squads or something and two leaders up there yeah yeah, yeah I my was... dice my dice kind of went to shit this this was like in our second playing yeah they weren't too good oh, our second session yeah yeah having all kinds of issues so i'm trying to up top i'm like oh yeah i need to push because Bottom is just sucking right now. I'm bogged down. Oh, I jumped. In, I think I jumped into close combat with your leader. Poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was his name? Giorgio. Yeah. Poor Giorgio. Giorgio got smoked. Uh, I took some prisoners early, and then later on, I just decided to no quarter. You just killed them afterwards. Yeah. I mean, I can kill the prisoners I had, but I invoked no quarter later. Oh, you pulled way back there, these guys. Yeah. Well, oh, I, yeah. I got to try and like at this point, I got to get to where I can protect those victory buildings because it's basically it's basically done. I don't have a lot. Yeah, pretty I'm, well hurting. I'm one move away from jumping in two of them, maybe three yeah. at this point. If you don't cut, well, I got off. Like I've got one one squad. I guess the person squad too. And these guys, it. these guys came in. Your second reinforcement. Yeah, as well. Uh, yeah. This game was surprisingly tight. Um, the your Greeks kind of got rolled, but. Yeah, it was. It came down to the end. It's tighter than well, I thought it was going to be. Well, that's what I mean. The fi I mean, I think it's pretty. You know, not a lot of playings, but I definitely think it's it. I mean, our game was balanced. It could have went either way, really. Uh, there's just so many Germans. I'm uh, moving now. Yeah, the 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 Huns are coming. And I wish I had my nine minus two. He would have probably nine minus two probably would have been, I don't know, in this group somewhere. I was really hoping for a little more out of my uh, partisans, but 
Oh, right. So the rule, special rule was at the beginning of each of my Oops. rally, yeah. uh, you roll one die. What was it? If it, it was, was a whole... one, I get a full squad. If it was uh, two, three, four, five. Two, yeah, two, three, four, five, you get a half squad. I got squad. a half squad. If it's a six, I get nothing. Yeah, and guess what you and, rolled for three of those turns. Yeah, uh, the <laughs> the first turn I rolled a one. Right, yeah. And the you next put him, three turns, You put him in I a really good six. spot. Yeah. Yeah, I rolled six, six, six. And if you would have but gotten it, those, uh, you might have won this if you would have gotten partisans popping out later. Yeah, I mean, they would come in handy for getting behind you, maybe, and cutting off some of your route pass, maybe. Yeah, harassing. Yeah. Like, where, where's my sniper counter? Okay, it's up here. Um, you probably would have picked my sniper counter, because then you would have potentially had... Um, I think they popped to... they. I don't think they can go into a hex with a enemy unit. They have to go into, like, a nearest building hex. Based on random direction. You could go into close combat. Could you? Could, uh, yeah, you could have been a real pain in the ass if you would have gotten You that. place it in the nearest, you do the random direction, and then you put it in the nearest building location. Not occupied by German units. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess that's it, yeah. But you've, you've reinforced it well. You've got this stack here, which is why... It, was afraid you were going to do covering that and you've got these guys now which you had i think you had a nine minus one in there yeah uh yeah so now i'm looking at that going god i'm gonna have to this could be another mad dash to the victory condition building yeah it's on my turn four i wasn't like I wasn't worried about the, the two victory buildings on the left. My plan was just to yeah. somehow keep you out of the either two or both of the two on the right. Yeah, the ones on the left. The two on the left are lost. Pray. I already conceded yeah. that at this yeah. point. Oh, you got another disrupted guy up top there. Yeah, it was kind of the theme for so oh, here I have a bunch of, bunch of firepower here. My plan was to get in as close to Papadias as I could and either break him, because he's got a light machine gun, I think, either break him during Vancey Fire or jump into close combat no matter what happened to you know, get rid of this basically fire lane so I could try to get across. That was my plan there. Papadias. Yeah, I would have liked to have just left him there and then move, continue to move my Brits up towards the water there. I mean, I kind of figured I needed somebody in each of the buildings just in case you survived defensive fire, you know. <laughs> Foreshadowing. But I just, I could never, I ran out, I couldn't get to that top one. Just ran out of time. Yeah, and I I do a boneheaded thing here at the end, but I'm 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 gathering up here. I'm positioning. Because what I was really worried about was you taking a snapshot, like jumping between those buildings. Right. Uh, yeah. Right here. I was yeah. I was positioning for that. If I had to do that, to take a shot, snapshots aren't super effective. Yeah. But no, but if it's all you got, if you got a big enough stack, yeah. And the way I was rolling morale checks, yeah, that's it wouldn't it take wouldn't take much. Keep an eye on this guy here. Oh yeah, because it's uh, <laughs> well not yet. You get uh, one more of your turns, but <laughs> this guy will come into play. <laughs> Oh, I'm advanced. Okay, now I'm getting. I'm at the starting line. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. I, I have two of the buildings. I need one of the others across the street, and they're both stone. So now it's your your last turn. 
Yeah, I think I rallied that guy already. No, you didn't rally oh. him. And I thought, my thinking was this guy here. My thinking was, okay, let me get that out of the way. My thinking was, he's still broken. My thinking is, you don't have another of your rally turns, so you won't be able to self-rally him. I'm not going to fire on him. I'll just leave him there. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and worry about other things. Well, that came, almost came to bite me in the butt later on. Yeah, because he's all alone, but you didn't, he, yeah, the DM came <laughs> off him. And, and I, I hustled these other guys up there. And I'm worrying about other stuff, you know, and old Tipper there must be that uh, he advances in. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I didn't even think, I wasn't even thinking, I'm thinking that broken guy is out. He's not going to be able to self-rally. Then Tipper just sneakily goes up there <laughs> and I don't even really notice and pay attention. So I never, yeah, he... I never defensive fired on this guy to put DM on him. And guess I what? think you're, my, yeah, I don't <laughs> think you're paying too much, too much attention to what I was doing. I th- planning <sighs> your next turn, your next move, you know, so. And of course you rally him, right? Which, I, yeah, I got lucky. I rolled a four, five, which is yeah, a four. big deal. Cause if he still would have been broken, that would have really limited oh, your firepower up there. Yeah, that would have yeah, pretty much been game over. I mean, it kept you it in was... the game a little bit more, but. Oh, totally. Yeah. So at this point, this is, yeah, this is the end, right? So I've got just a wall of uh, Germans here. The guys with prisoners, I I deployed them freely because they had prisoners into half squads. And I'm just, I had two options. I needed either this building or this building. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, what are my options? Well, I could just do a massive fire group into here hopefully break those guys and just get one squad in there. And this guy, they're locked in melee. He can't do anything. Or I could just, there's nothing in this building. If I can just get anything, mm-hmm. well, to survive any multi-man counter in that building, I win. Right. Yeah. Cause you can't move or anything. This need to survive. So I had a X amount of units and you had X amount of fire opportunities. I just went for, I just ran everything towards that building and hope something would survive either you roll bad on your fire or i roll good on and or i roll good on morale checks to get something in there that was that was the option i thought trying to get in here getting close get into close combat hopefully win was odds were longer than just running something in there through the fire yeah i um i mean i had had it Fairly well covered, but I knew it would only take you just to get lucky with one morale check, and it'd be game over. Yeah, you just killed some of your own Greek allies. Good job, Scott. Good job, Tipper. <laughs> <laughs> Broke the guys. So my guys, I'm running. They're breaking in the street, and I'm worried about getting overstacked in there as well. I'm doing math, and I keep running. I'm think we're just discussing here, I think. Or no, no, that was it. That guy must have survived. Yeah. Yeah. He. You didn't have any more. One fire. half squad. Yeah. He made his morale, yeah. whatever it was at the end, a task pin check or something. He made it, so that was pretty much. It. He would just advance in. Yeah. But yeah, it was came out closer than I thought. Um, looking at the scenario card, I'm like, ah, my German elites are just gonna roll over these guys. But yeah, it was it was harder than I thought. Yeah, it's always amazing how long it's just so hard to rush across the board mm-hmm. it's like you didn't have that far to go but no and i had but... i had six turns to go i don't know eight 16 18 hexes something like that it's, you gotta be moving even though it's not very far but i mean the terrain is so i mean it's so dense yeah, and you just you know you just back off a little bit. You can fire at me. You back off a little more. You can fire at me. Yeah, it's slow going. Well, yeah, but it only takes a little bit. You know, uh, I don't have that huge of, of a starting force, and you know some bad rolls. You could, and you got enough Germans that you could easily envelop and run around. And, yeah, 
your uh, your Greeks got decimated. I don't know if you had anything left. I think you had from your Greek you guys immediately you had uh, yeah. a half squad. Everything else was either dead or captured. Up from yep. your Greeks, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they got they got rolled, which is what you'd expect, I guess. Pretty but much, yeah. They slowed me down enough for your Brits to come in and make a game of it. Well, that's that's kind of the whole crux of the scenario. It's the British reinforcements. That's the puzzle, right? That we talk about. Each scenario is a puzzle. Yeah. Well, because... it's like you have the firepower to just bowl over the Greeks, but you know, having enough left to take on the Brits at the very yeah, I mean, yeah, and half of my, all my 548s, I think I had four or five of those. I mean, they all had assault fire. Uh, oh, yeah, I only had two. I thought I had more than that. Oh, no, four, yeah. There's two two in each group. Yeah. Uh, I tried to always be moving those guys if I could, because their assault fire value is pretty basically the same as their prep fire value. So. You know, and you, I mean, you have, you got, you've got smoke exponents. I don't think you ever did get smoke. You tried, <sighs> I tr- tried, tried a quite, few, uh, quite a few times, but I, think I tried a few times, but I don't think I ever got it. Yeah. Because that's the hardest part is for you is getting across those two streets. Cause the, the bit, like we said, the buildings on the left, forget about it. It's the two on the right and then having yeah. to run through the streets. Getting across this one wasn't too bad. It was this one. Uh, I think the key was locking those guys up. That could have been a pain in the butt if you would have uh, remained in there with a light machine gun and a squad. I think there was a squad, not a half squad to begin with. Maybe you got casually reduced in there. Uh, yeah, and the, that's in the first close combat yeah. we did. Really. But yeah, if that, that's all, I wouldn't have needed much because that, that was at the end. I just needed firepower. A little more firepower and partisans might not have popping up would have helped yeah you might not have made it across the street yeah close game i I enjoyed it it was fun yep even after losing my nine minus two i was like god well there again you know that's right i mean i don't you know the game could have been completely different if he had survived the whole game nine minus two yeah he would have yeah nine minus time nine moving around with those medium machine guns would have wreaked havoc most places i think but yeah i mean our game felt really balanced but i don't know to me it's real intimidating all those elite germans and just you feel sorry for the guys but <laughs> you're gonna you're all gonna die <laughs> tale of the dice overall you had 6.8 i had 7.2 I don't know. Yeah, it, doesn't mean it didn't much. feel that way. It didn't feel. I, I kind of felt like I got diced, but and I couldn't believe that your average was higher. But I'm sure it was my morale checks. I didn't. I didn't dig deep deeper into it. I just took a screenshot of it here. Yeah, I'm sure it was uh, morale checks. <laughs> but overall, uh, but the, I mean, dice, the dice looks really. Yeah, they look really. Doesn't look too bad. Pretty equal. You, know, uh, you got a lot more tens. You got like almost three times as many tens as I and elevens, tens and elevens. We both had two sniper activations, and we both got one result. Both essentially took out one of each other's leaders. You took out a nine minus two. I eventually took out an eight eight zero or eight minus one. Eight minus one. Yeah. yeah. I rolled. Uh, we both rolled four box cars. You rolled four snake eyes. I rolled three snake eyes. So yeah, yeah, I wasn't. Must have been morale checks or rallies or something. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I was trying to rally this guy. God, it was driving me nuts. Oh, the one. Yeah, there was a guy back here. I think it was. In the beginning. Back, yeah. Uh, come on. Back here. Yeah. I think I rolled a casualty right out. Yeah, that guy, yeah. I tried to rally him. I swear it was three turns. And then on the last turn, I rolled a 12 trying to rally him. Like, <laughs> he just, 
he just wasn't into it, I guess. He was done. <laughs> well, I think you had one from, the, like, the first turn, too, on the back towards the left on the bottom that you had trouble yeah. to too. Took, took, like, three turns to get him right. Bane of my existence. I don't know what it is with me and morale, morale type check. stuff. It's just, ugh. <laughs> God, it drives me nuts, man. Shouldn't be every time I get a morale check, pass a morale check, it feels like a small miracle anymore. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I can't believe I made a morale check. <laughs> yeah. Any final thoughts on uh, another frustrating day? That was a good game. It was fun. Fun yeah. scenario. I liked it. Highly recommend it. This is the first. This is kind of our getting our legs back under us after uh, we didn't play much. Uh, yeah, we hadn't, hadn't played. Half. Yeah, yeah, you were sick last year. We hadn't played for nine months. Yeah, yeah something like time. that. Trying to start off the new year playing more. We have another one lined up from Journal 14. Latecomers. Do you decide? You decide uh, who you're playing, which side you're picking. Um, I'm leaning, and no, I haven't really just. I think I'm leaning towards the French. That's yeah. It's Italian versus French, and they both have ELR two, so I should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should be a painful, a painful scenario. I don't know why are we playing it. Are we gluttons for punishment? I guess I don't know. Uh, yeah, we were looking for something that was just like one step above this scenario, like <laughs> or below. <laughs> well, it's hard to it's not hard to find scenarios it, it's hard to pick them sometimes because there's so many it's like geez. yeah it's too much too many to choose from <laughs> yeah a lot of but, it comes down to ssrs i see a lot of coming through the scenario i see night rules are it's like eh, yeah we're not big fans of night are we <laughs> i think last well, time we played night was in the 90s probably night rules I think we've only ever played one night scenario. We I don't probably we should, probably should try more night scenarios. Yeah, I, I mean I don't think there are some rule sets that just aren't popular with people. You know, night, OBA, you know, things like that. We haven't played an OBA scenario for a while either. Yeah, I looked when I was looking through them. I saw several that had OBA. Yeah, I thought they looked interesting, but then it's like, well, do we want? Are we ready for OBA right now? They just got to bite the bullet and say, yeah, we're playing OBA. And you review the rules again. Well, we're just trying to get back, you know, knock the rust off. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but aren't we aren't we talking about playing uh, drop zone after the next scenario? <laughs> I don't know. That's a... I don't know if we'll ever get back to drop zone, but hopefully. Oh, yeah. I know. I know you. It's that's a historical that really interests you. So I know we'll play it. Yeah, maybe not instantly right after this next scenario but i know we'll play it because you want to play it and i know you want to. well we were we were all set we were all set to start the campaign i think we Mm -hmm. like a week away from starting the campaign and yeah you got sick so yeah that was the whole but good game yep good game enjoyed it uh good scenario played out like I thought, but also differently. Yeah. Yeah, we've had a lot of, over the years, we've had a lot of games, a lot of scenarios like this that come down to the last turn, last mm-hmm. die roll, and uh, it's always fun. Yeah, you get into the, the, the gamey part of ASL. You know, this would never happen in... We talk about this often. Mm. Never happened on a real battlefield. Ah, just keep running bodies out in the street until we get that yeah. dumb that dumb building, right? That would never. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold guys. on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Drag those drag those uh, wounded and dead guys out of the out of the hex so that <laughs> we can get more guys in there. Yeah. There's just piles of bodies. Go run across the street. No. Yeah, but yeah, that's the part that makes ASL, you know, exciting and fun. You just do things that really wouldn't happen to achieve victory conditions that may not be super realistic but hey it's a game yeah well it's like when i remember first started playing squad leader 40 some years ago and it was it was just like a simulation yeah it's like like the farthest thing 
Yeah, it's just, when you it's a when you game take, of total chaos. Is yeah, you dig down. Uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff is pretty gamey, which is fine. It's a game. I accept. It's a game. It's not a simulation. More chaos, the better. Nor should it be a simulation. I don't think playing a simulation would be any fun. Probably not. No. Be like playing a spreadsheet. Be like playing uh, the online game. Uh, Eve Online, a space game. Some people call it spreadsheets in space. I've tried playing it, and it's incredibly boring. Yeah, it looks beautiful, but it is so boring. At least for me. Yeah, I don't want I don't want spreadsheets. Spreadsheet ASL. I want fun action, narrative, crazy things happening. Yeah. All right, let's wrap this up. Forty-two minutes. Mm. Stick a fork in it. Adios, Scott. Adios, muchacho. Academy out.